Hey guys, this is Justin back with an engineer's perspective. And today I'm gonna try to demonstrate uh, the differences in some geometry here. So I've got this double wall thick cardboard box that a, a chair came in. And I'm just gonna, I have to break it down to toss it out. I've got a couple of knives I was gonna use for it. Well, I wasn't going to, but I'm gonna do it for this video. And I don't know if this is gonna come across well, but I'm gonna do it. I'll try to talk about it as I go and we'll just uh, see what happens here. So first, I've got a Benchmade 940 and 20 CV reground by Murray Carter. I've got a Spyderco Delica 4 in K390. And I've got a Spyderco Military in CTS 204P. Um, these all are all relatively different knives, but um, I th this 20 CV, I'm fairly certain is around 59 Rockwell. This K390, I'm fairly certain is around 65 Rockwell. And this 204P, I'm fairly certain is around 61 Rockwell. Okay, and then put them back in the hand. So what this video is about is more about geometry. So uh, this 940 here is got uh, about a 15 degree per side edge with a 20 degree micro bevel and it is about eight thousandths behind the edge. So this one has a 20 degree per side micro bevel and uh, is very thin behind the edge. So according to the edge angle and the thickness behind the edge, this should cut the best, but it, it's got this low saber grind that people say doesn't cut well. So we'll see if this low saber grind is gonna stop it from cutting well, or if that great edge geometry is gonna help it out. Then we've got the Delica with a 15 degree per side, 15 thousandths behind the edge uh, on it. So, and you got a full flat grind. So this one should be basically second best and that thin stock. So thin stock, full flat grind, 15 thousandths behind the edge, 15 degrees per side. So this one should cut, uh, has the same angle essentially minus the micro bevel of this, but is almost double the thickness behind the edge. So it should be worse than the 940 um, according to the edge geometry, but according to it being a full flat grind and having a thinner spine, it should outcut the 940. So does that make sense? So that'll be an interesting comparison. Does it have to do with the overall grind or does it have to do with the edge geometry? And then we've got the military, which is kind of representing this more standard geometry you see. So thicker spine, I believe that's 145 thou. And then this one is 24 thousandths behind the edge at 17 degrees per side. So I'll put this all in the description so you can look at it. But according to what people call a slicey knife, it should go Delica, probably military, then 940. You know, the traditional thoughts. If according to edge geometry, it would go 940 Delica military. So does that make sense? So we'll see if it ends up according to what people traditionally say versus uh, what I say, which is the edge geometry. So I hope that all made sense. And I have no idea if this is gonna come through on camera. We're just gonna start trying to cut this box up and then I'll, if you can see it, and I'll talk about it and whatever. So let's start with the 940. Oh, um, sharpness wise, the, the 940 is the least sharp. And this has a, I believe a Spyderco, a Spyderco Sharp Maker brown or fine. So the first white rod, not the ultra fine. I believe that's the edge on this with a four micron strop. This I believe is, 400 F Venive diamond resin bonded stone and uh, with a four micron strop. And I don't know what this is. This looks like the King Neo to me. So it's an 800 grit finish with what's probably either a four or one micron strop all on diamond or CBN. But these two are really nice. This one's slowing down a bit. We'll see what it does. Let's just start cutting this thing up and we'll talk about it. 
So that just zipped right through there. No big deal. Go over to the Delica. So I definitely would say the 940 felt better on that one. Look at the military. Maybe similar-ish to the Delica. We'll do one more cut. Really? Eh, worse than the Delica, probably. So, or I guess I'll go to the 940 again. Just glides right through. Ooh, it actually feels pretty close between the Delica and the 940 on that one. Yeah, they just all feel good doing those corners. I find that the corners of boxes are the, the easiest things to cut. So honestly doing the corners of the boxes is kind of all the same. We're back to the 940. Very easy. It's a little bit tougher. Hope I'm not killing the edge on it. This quick, I don't regret not sharpening it. We'll see. So Delica. the 940 uh, definitely was doing better than the Delta. Now for the Millie. Uh, I don't want to I don't want to ruin the edge on that tape. It's kind of fiberglassy. Let me just get out the Pioneer with the all there. Something I like to use it for. use that all for opening boxes and dealing with this nasty tape. I don't know what those fibers are in there, but they seem to dull edges pretty good. All right, so military. You know, they all feel good on the seams. They always do. But, uh, that might have felt similar to the Delica. It's really hard to say. So now I'm just gonna do one, two, three, and we'll see here. So here's the 940. Here's the Delica. That feels really good. Huh. Is the 940 just, no, I mean, it's not super sharp by any means. I'm really underwhelmed by Benchmade's 20 CV. I don't recommend you pick it up. I haven't tried their S90V, but I'm just kind of like, why? Uh, you know, Spyderco does a much better job with both of these steels. Uh, Benchmade's M4 seems to be good, and then what they're doing with 3V now seems to be good. I haven't tried it. I have tried their M4, and then their crewwear looks great, so I'd recommend trying that out. But. But they're 20 CV and S90 V leave a lot to be desired, I think. 940. Delica. Oh yeah, that, that Delica feels real good. I'm gonna try to stay off the seam here. 
Tape on the bottom there. Yeah, the Delica is cutting the best right now, hands down. Let's see out of the tape. And the military by far. I gotta really hold on there. I'm just checking the edge. You know, this 204P has lost a lot of its bite. A lot of that bite is gone. It's well apex still, so you can see that it still catches on my fingernail. See that? So I can just rest it right on there and it, and it doesn't slide off really. So it's still well apexed, but a lot of the aggression is gone. The, this actually feels a little more aggressive yet. The Apex is worse on the 940. And then the Delica. Uh, the best aggression for sure. Not as much better as I thought it was going to be. Very well Apex though. So... I'm surprised by this. I'm not, it might have been because I accidentally went through the tape. But this, um, words, come on. Ah, so this 20CV has more aggression than this 204P, and they're the same chemically, just they're both at different hardnesses. Whereas this 204P has a much better apex than this 20CV. So that's interesting. Whereas the, K390 basically has the best of both worlds where it's still very well apexed and still has okay aggression. So, I don't know <laughs> what they do other than that this is by far the worst cutter of the, of the group. So, there's that. But between these two, I don't think it's quite as clear as the difference. So let's try to kind of whittle down into that. Ugh. Let me scoop this pile over, slip it all over the place. See if I can do this. So let's, so it's double wall. So this is four, four layers of cardboard right here. So not, not awful. Didn't glide through, but not awful. Oh boy. I'd say the 940's got it. Let's just do this with the military for gigs. Oh, quite a bit more difficult with the military. 940 again. Pretty challenging. Oh boy. I'm running out of leverage on the back here. I'm just going to set it down on the table. So that was obviously a struggle with the Delica. So we got, do we do two or do we do three? Let's do, so that's six total layers right there. The nine, I don't know if I can do this. Or the knives, rather. It's going. Oh, alrighty. All right, Delica. Don't want to cut my hand. Ah. Whoo. So there you go, guys. Which... So there wasn't enough resolution with just the one sheet of cardboard. With two, we started seeing it. And now, I'm sorry, with six layers now, you can see the difference <laughs> in the edge geometry. Oh, wow. There you go. Whew. Now you can really see the difference that that thin edge makes.
So even though it's got thicker stock, it's got worse steel in every way, in my opinion. Uh, and uh, the sharpening on it was done with Spyderco ceramics. And it's 15 degrees per side, just like the Delica. It's just that the 20 CV has a 20 degree micro bevel on it. So by all accounts, saber grind, same where thicker angle, worse steel, probably worse sharpening, didn't start out as sharp, worse all around, but it's the winner because it's eight thousandths behind the edge versus 15 thousandths. Let's try this one more time here. Whew. That is not easy. Oh, <laughs> making me eat my words. Oh, wowza. That is ridiculous. <sighs> but I'm telling you, the 940 sliced as good or better at everything than even the Delica did. And the military didn't, didn't match up. You know, it was always worse. So there you go. That's why the edge geometry matters is even if it's got the stock thickness and you can only do so much with the angle, like that thickness behind the edge is gonna, it makes a big difference. Yeah, so I hope that came through and was informative and or entertaining. So thank you for watching, I appreciate it guys. Have a good one, bye.